hello students today we are going to go to the next section refraction of light reflection of light and refraction of light we have seen in the other videos reflection of light under reflection of light we spoke about plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror now we are going to speak about refraction of light what is refraction of light refraction of light means bending of light rays bending of light rays when going from one medium to another medium for example when a light ray is traveling from air to water the light rays slightly bend or from air to glass from water to glass from whatever medium to another medium when light rays travel there is a small bending of light so this phenomena is called as refraction of light why does refraction of light occur yes light ray is a electromagnetic wave under the waves chapter we have studied that light ray or light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that means it is an example for electromagnetic waves the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 ms minus 1 the speed is in vacuum but when light rays travel from vacuum to other medium there will be a slight change that is because the density of other mediums are different for example density when we consider density of vacuum it is smaller than the density of air the density of air is smaller than the density of water the density of water is smaller than the density or lesser than the density of glass the density of glass is lesser than the density of diamond. Therefore, diamond is high denser than glass, then water, then air, then vacuum. So, when light rays travel from vacuum to air, the speed reduces because air is more denser than vacuum. When light rays travel from air to water, or from water to glass or glass to diamond or air to glass air to diamond water to diamond whatever the speed reduces because the density increases when the speed reduces the angle changes there is a small change in the angle that's what we call as refraction so here in this chapter we have to consider the density of the medium for example if we are considering vacuum and air vacuum and air vacuum is called the denser medium sorry air is called the denser medium vacuum is called the rare medium when you consider glass and water glass is considered as denser medium water is considered as rare medium when you consider diamond and glass, diamond is considered at that situation diamond is considered as denser medium and glass is considered as rare medium. So in this chapter we compare two mediums and then get the deflection. We get the change in the angle. So I hope you all have understood the difference in the density. The difference in the density brings about refraction. Yes. Now we are going to discuss what is going to happen to the rays. Now here in this diagram, first diagram, we have a layer of air and here we have a layer of water. Now tell me in this situation, this medium is considered as rare medium and this medium is considered as denser medium. So this is the rare medium. 
rare medium and denser medium. Now we are going to consider a light ray which is going to travel from rare medium and then it enters the denser medium. What is going to happen? Yes. This is the incident ray. Incident ray traveling towards the next medium. Then here we have the interface the point where the medium changes from air to water. At this point, we have to draw a perpendicular line. This perpendicular line is called normal. Even under con concave, uh, in plane mirror we know, we draw a line at that point. Here also we draw it, it is called normal. So this is the incident ray and this is the normal. Now let's say if this layer was air, if this also was air, this also this layer also was air, what would have happened? This ray would have traveled without any deflection. I'm drawing a dotted line. If this was air. But now this is not air, this is water, a denser medium, a medium which is more tight. So what will happen to the incident ray. Here we consider what will happen to the refracted ray. We consider that this refracted ray, this incident ray, after passing this interface becomes the refracted ray. It moves towards the normal. When traveling from rare medium to a denser medium, very loose medium to a tight medium, it goes closer to the normal. This ray goes closer to the normal. So this is the final ray. So you can see there is a small bend here. So when rays travel from rare medium to denser medium, it moves towards the normal. Then we'll go to the next situation, second figure. Here we have a glass medium and water medium. In this situation, Glass medium is considered as denser medium and water is considered as rare medium. Here we are going to draw a light ray passing from denser medium to rare medium. So we will draw the incident ray. Incident ray. The next thing which we should draw is the normal. At the point of the interface, normal. Then, now we know that this layer is glass. If this layer was glass, what would have happened to the ray? It would have travelled without any refraction, without any change. It would have travelled straight. But now we have changed the medium. Now it is water. It is a rare medium. When a light ray travels from denser medium to rare medium, it moves away from the normal. Therefore, this moves away from the normal. This will be the light. Can you see this clearly? Here, it moves closer to the normal. That means this angle is less than this angle. This is the incident angle refracted angle because this ray is called the refracted ray incident ray refracted ray incident angle refracted angle in this situation incident angle is greater than refracted angle in this situation second situation denser medium to rare medium this is the incident ray this is the refracted ray Incident ray, incident ray, incident angle. This is the refracted ray. This is the refracted angle. In this situation, incident ray is smaller than the refracted ray. Or else, refracted ray is larger than the incident ray. So, I hope you have understood this situation. Sometimes, students get confused whether it is moving towards the normal or away from the normal 
for this normally i tell my class students think that this normal is your body this angles are your arms for example from rare medium to denser medium let's say from a very relaxed area you are going to a dense area for example you are climbing into a crowded bus or a train when you are standing in the bus stop you will be very relaxed because you are in a rare medium but once you enter into the bus what will happen will your arms be like this or will your arms come closer towards your body it will obviously come towards your body because you are going to go into the crowded bus so this ray is going to go into a denser medium so what will happen the ray will move towards the normal like hands or arms moving towards the body yes that is the first situation so remember from rare medium to denser medium towards the normal this situation second situation here it is like you are going to go from a denser medium to a rare medium for example from a crowded bus you are going to get down the same example applies here your body is the normal your arms are the rays you are inside a crowded bus your arms were closer but when you came out of the crowded bus that means from a denser medium you are coming to a rare medium from a tight medium you are coming to a very loose medium once you get down from the bus what will you do you will stretch your hands that means your arms are moving away from your body that means the rays are moving away from the normal so keep this in mind so that you won't get confused because this is a point where students normally get confused i hope you have understood this section the next topic is laws of refraction we have already seen the laws of reflection in our other videos so here the laws of refraction the first law you all note it down please the first law says that incident ray refracted ray and the normal drawn to the point of incident all lie on the same plane same like the first law of reflection but there it is reflected ray but here it is refracted ray so incident ray refracted ray and the normal drawn to the point of incident all lie on the same plane because one ray can't come like this and change the angle and go in a different plane now if you think 3d now this ray can't come out of the board it has to go along the board therefore it is a two dimensional thing so it is in the same plane so that is about the first law then the second law this law is also very simple one but students get complicated here so just remember incident ray makes incident angle with the normal refracted ray makes the refracted angle with the normal let it be greater than the incident ray or lesser than the incident ray we don't consider about that here this is a common rule for both the situations so here we say that the sin value i hope you all know in maths you all have studied sin cos tan sin cos tan so the sin value sin value of this angle of sin angle i sin i over sin r of this angle sin value of incident ray incident angle and the sin value of refracted angle always sums up to a constant or uh, this constant is known as the refractive index so according to the law it says that the ratio of the sin value of angle of incident and the 
sin value of the angle of refraction is a constant. And this constant is known as refractive index. So normally scientists have done this experiment. So they have found the refractive index value of vacuum, air, vacuum, glass, vacuum, water, glass, water, glass, diamond, air, diamond. They have done all the refractive index and they have got the value. But in our O level, local syllabus O level, we don't consider any questions related to refractive index values. So we don't have to be afraid. So we have a very easy thing. Just to remember that the sine i value over sine r value gives a constant. So this is the laws of refraction. The next topic is refraction of white light by a prism. What happens if a white light is directed towards a glass prism? To understand this situation, first you have to understand the concept of this. So here, we will select one color, one light, because white light is a mixture of seven colors. So first initially to understand that situation, we will try it with one color. If you use one color, for example, we use the blue color light. So if you send a blue color light, this is air. From air, you direct it to glass. So in this situation, air is the rare medium, glass is the denser medium. Rare to dense. Rare medium to denser medium. So what should you do? We know what is happening, but first we have to draw the needed things. Perpendicular to the interface, we have to draw the normal. So this is perpendicular to this line. This line is the one which is dividing the air layer and the glass layer. So you have to draw the normal perpendicular to it. Yes. The normal is drawn. So this is the incident angle. Now, if this was air, listen to this properly. This is also this is air, this is glass. But if this was air, what would have happened to this ray? It would have traveled directly without any deviation. But this does not travel like this because this is glass. That means it is a denser medium. What is our theory? Denser medium. What happens to the ray? Towards the normal or away from the normal? From a crowded, from a loose area, from a relaxed area to a crowded area, what happens to your arm? Goes towards your body. Then this ray goes towards the normal. This is the normal, so towards the normal. So towards the normal. So the angle is called refracted angle. Angle of refraction. So that is the first situation. Now this light ray has to come out. So what happens, this situation, this is glass, again this is air. So at the second situation, glass becomes denser medium and this is rare medium. So now light ray has to travel from denser medium to rare medium. So you know what is going to happen. So before that we have to draw the normal. Normal should be drawn at the point of incident perpendicular to the interface. It should be perpendicular to the interface. Something like this. Okay. This is glass. And if this was glass, this light ray would have traveled without any deviation. But this is not glass. This is air and a rare medium. So when a light ray travels from denser medium to rare medium, from a tight situation to a loose situation, what happens? away from the normal. This is the normal away from the normal. So light ray travels. So in this situation this is the incident angle and this is the refracted angle. So this is the theory of a, for a light ray traveling into a glass prism. In case if this was white light 
white light consists of seven colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red with geo colors so each color is a separate electromagnetic wave so they have their own characteristics so what happens these seven colors when it come, travels straight it all travels in the same speed but when it goes from one medium to the other medium uh, as we know there is a small curvature small bend but each color has its own speed so there is a difference in the changing so what happens these seven colors split into individual colors and then what happens it gets divided and from there what happens not one ray but seven rays are emitted so if you project it to a wall this is how it will look so seven you can see a spectrum of colors so when you consider the colors it will start like this violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red why this is violet and why this is red and not the other way you will learn that in a levels because different colors have different uh, character so depending on the character the curvature or the bend will change therefore violet will be here then indigo then blue green yellow orange and red so from this we can understand to split a white light into the vibrio spectrum or into its seven colors you can use a glass prism i hope you are clear with this section now i hope that you all have a clear idea about refraction this refraction is seen in our day to day life for example if you submerge something in water for example if you submerge a pencil or pen in water you can see the difference so i'll show the difference now focus on the pencil now here we have glass water and air so can you see that at the interface you can see as if the pencil has been bent is this pencil bent no but once i put it into water i hope you can clearly see that the image is magnified and there is a small change so this is a very simple situation for you to understand the light rays which is being emitted from this pencil when reaching your eye when this travels past water then glass into air here there is a small change in the length i hope you can see this clearly so there are a few other situations also as mentioned in our textbook you can try this experiment at home you take a small bucket or a small tub you keep a coin on the tub and on a table or something and you go to a place where okay slowly you go back while facing the coin you go to a point where you cannot see the coin if you keep one step forward you should be able to see the coin then when you keep one step back you won't be able to see the coin at this situation mark the area mark this point now come and fill this tub with water fill this tub with water and go back to the marked point and now look at the coin you will be able to see the coin so you can say this is like magic you first in the same position you were not able to see the coin but once you pour water you are able to see the coin is it because of the water has the coin come up no the coin is in the same place but the light rays which is coming from the coin 
is now traveling from air to water so there is a small curvature there is a small bend in it therefore you will be able to see the fine yes please try this at home and see whether you can understand well, is a person observing a fish from the river bank now the fish is inside water and he is observing from the land actually he will be able to see the fish but the location of the fish is not the real location why is that if he tries to catch the fish he won't be able to catch the fish we'll see why it why is because the light ray which is emitted from the fish from a luminous object light ray falls on the fish and from the fish now we'll take the eye of the fish light ray is emitted out that is because that is because of this light ray you will be able to see the fish but what is happening it is traveling from water to air water to air water is denser medium air is rare medium so we will draw the interface perpendicular normal this is the incident ray what happens to the refracted ray if it were both were water it should have traveled like this but in this situation what is happening from rare me denser medium to rare medium from tight to loose what happens away from the normal the right light ray goes like this so the person sees this light ray he sees as if the fish is behind this light ray that means we draw a dotted line here dotted line where we consider the eye of the fish so he will see a image somewhere here I am drawing a dotted image because this is not a real image. He will see as if the fish is somewhere here. This is the real depth and this is the virtual depth. That is also because of refraction. And the final topic for this video is critical angle and total internal reflection this critical angle situation and total internal reflect reflection situation happens only keep this in mind happens only when the light rays travel from denser medium to rarer medium from rarer medium to denser medium it never happens so it is it happens only from denser medium to rarer medium for example now let's consider this as normal water and this is air so water air water is denser medium air is the rare medium okay yes first we'll consider the normal situation In the normal situation as we have learned if there is an incident ray incident ray what will happen we draw the normal drawn to the point of incident incident ray normal if both these mediums were same this ray would have traveled like this but now it is rare medium so from denser medium to rare medium tight medium to uh, loose medium what happens away from the normal this will travel so this you have already studied this is the incident angle and the refracted angle yes now just try to understand this students what happens if you increase the incident ray if you increase the value of the incident ray what will happen if this was like this the refracted ray would be this way if I increase the incident ray further, refracted rays, refracted angle also will increase. When it increases, this ray will come down. Some more, when I increase more, what happens to this ray? It travels on the interface. That situation, that situation is called the critical angle. So we will draw that situation. 
this incident ray now you are increasing the angle of the incident ray somewhere like this at that situation this is the normal normal at that situation what will happen to the refracted ray it will bend and it will travel along the interface 90 degrees 90 degrees from the normal this situation when the ray travels in this 90 degrees this angle here incident angle is considered as the critical angle critical angle that is the maximum to which you can increase. That maximum point is called the critical angle. Yes, I hope you understood. Then, what will happen if you increase the incident ray angle greater than this critical angle? Critical angle is the maximum. If you increase more than the critical angle, that situation is called as total internal reflection at that situation for example i have increased one or two degree more than the critical angle for example if i say this is 40 this is 45 i have increased to 50 for example this is not 50 degree but i have increased to 50 from the normal this is the normal drawn to the point of incident and Incident ray is 50, but the critical angle we spoke is 45. For example, here if it is 45, then this is greater than the 45. At that situation, total internal reflection happens. This surface acts as a plane mirror. If this surface acts as a plane mirror, incident ray, plane mirror, and uh, law, first law. Incident ray, reflected ray and the normal drawn to the point of incident lie in the same plane. Yes. Second law of reflection, angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. Here too that applies. In this situation, when we increase the angle, incident angle more than the critical angle, what happens? This acts as a mirror and the light ray is reflected again back into the water therefore if someone is trying to send light out of the water trying to ask for help but if his angle is greater than the critical angle what will happen to that light ray it will go to the surface and get reflected back only the fish will be able to see the people outside the water will not be able to see so this situation is called as this is reflection total internal reflection so these three situations if you understand this properly there won't be any problem i have seen many students this simple concept they can't understand that is because they don't properly understand the angle changes here what happens here it is normal but little by little when i increase this angle what happens to this this increases in a large scale so slowly this comes to a point where it travels along the interface when it is traveling along the interface this angle maybe 40 45 or whatever that situation is considered as the critical angle if you increase even one bit more than the critical angle suddenly this light ray comes down and it is reflected back again into the same medium at this situation this acts as a mirror normally you would have come across this situation sometimes in a glass when you look directly into the glass you can see what is happening in the other side but from sideways when you look at the glass you can see some what is happening on the other side as well as you can see a small reflection of the of your same side of what is happening on the same side so a mirror uh, so a block of glass can act as a mirror also at this situation so i hope you understood these three sections so this internal total internal reflection this is used 
in the fiber optic system fiber optic system fiber optic system is a type of wire where we send the uh, messages like the normal house wire there is a special wire called the fiber optic wire in a fiber optic wire there are two refracting surfaces two mediums inside it now this is the cross uh, transverse section of the wire cross section of the wire now let's say i am sending a message a signal the signal's angle should be greater than the critical angle of this medium we don't know what medium they are using but they are using two mediums so when the critical angle is larger what happens it gets total internal reflection it comes in. here also it has the same angle so again total internal reflection so likewise the signal travels this way so what is the use of fiber optics in fiber optics the energy is not lost because it does not go out it keeps on reflecting 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 and goes and uh, reach the destination so signals can be sent without the loss of energy the other thing is you can send multiple signals but it won't get collided with each other you increase another if you want to send another signal you increase the angle by one then that signal will travel separately if you want to send another signal you change the angle but the angle should be greater than the critical angle so what happens at that situation so you can send multiple signals and this is very quick because it travels at the speed of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 so fiber optics now even uh, some uh, broadband connection they use fiber optics because to increase the speed multiple signals and the to reduce the loss of energy so this is the situation where fiber op uh, where total internal reflection situation is used and also normally they give some questions in the paper a prism can act as a total internal reflecting device total internal reflecting device so students i would like you all to do this at home the critical angle of glass and air air glass medium is 43 degrees celsius uh, so 43 degrees if a light ray is projected towards a glass prism this way making 90 degree angle what will happen to the light ray and from where will it emerge will it emerge like this 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 or somewhere here or will it be reflected back again the, uh, by uh, back to the surface i want you all to try this and get the answer so i hope that this refraction section the basic concepts of refraction you are clear with it because we are going to advance to a next section called the lens in lens also we use the refraction theory but there we use multiple diagrams there we will, it will be a little bit more advanced so to understand that you have to be clear with this section so if there is any doubt if there is any doubt you can ask it through the comments or you can personally call me and ask please clear your doubts you can't understand lens without understanding refraction properly so i want all the students to understand this properly and do continue your work so i think you will be following us by now you will be following us we have uh, released about four or five videos uh, the people who are new to this channel you all can subscribe to this channel and click the bell button so that you will get further notifications and also please share this to your school friends to your family members uh, so because it will be very useful at this period of time so please like the video and if there is anything you can comment uh, and also please subscribe to our channel